In this video, I'll show you how to write two parametric equations that have trigonometric functions into a single rectangular equation that encompasses both information. Then I'll sketch it. So the question reads, determine the rectangular equation of the plane whose parametric equations are given by x is equal to cosine t and y is equal to sine t, and this is the range that they want us to graph it. The steps of doing this are outlined below and we'll be following these steps as we do the question. Step number one says, isolate the trigonometric expression in each parametric equation. Notice that in both of our parametric equations, the trigonometric function is already isolated. So step number one is already done. Select the trigonometric identity by observation that relates the two parametric equations. Now, what relates cosine and sine, there are many trigonometric identities, but the one that comes to mind is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one, and this is called the Pythagorean identity. Because we're not using theta, let's replace that with t. And I can now replace, if I were to square both of these equations, like this, I can now replace this with y squared and that one with x squared. Rearranging this so that x squared is first, I prefer to see it this way. So step number two is done. Then it says substitute the rectangular expression. Now it's in rectangular form. Notice that it's terms of x and y, no more t's. That takes care of step two and three. Notice that this equation now is purely in rectangular form. We have it in terms of x and y only. So it can be graphed technically. Write the rectangular expression in a familiar form whenever possible. So what they're saying here is that if you cannot recognize what type of equation this is, make sure you rearrange it so that it is recognizable. Now this one's already recognizable to me. We have x squared plus y squared, which means that it is a circle, and it's a circle that is centered at the origin. I can start to graph this by creating an xy plot. So that's a start. And a circle centered at the origin has a radius of one. That is the radius. Now it's not always what it's equal to. Keep in mind that when I say the radius is one, I'm taking the square root of that. So the square root of one is equal to one. But if that was, let's say nine, that means the radius is three. So just bear that in mind. We have a circle that has a radius of one and that radius is going to be the same all throughout. Okay, so this point, for example, is at one and zero. This point is at zero and one. That point is at negative one and zero, and this one is at zero and negative one. Now we have to restrict the domain based on the restriction of the original question. So the original question wanted it from negative pi over two to pi. Negative pi over two means that we start right here because that is when the angle is zero, and a negative angle means that you're going clockwise. And in this case, clockwise by pi over two, which is a quarter circle. So we start right here. Right here is where we start. And t must be greater or equal to that, and t must be less than or equal to pi. Pi is all the way here. Remember, pi is half a circle. Therefore, this part needs to be canceled out, and the only thing that we should be graphing is what I'm highlighting. And there you go. That is how to determine the rectangular representation for a curve defined parametrically using a trigonometric identity.